A very good morning all of you. So today we are trying to explore how we can run the containers using various different flags. So we are going to cover interactive mode. We are also going to cover, uh, you know, T as a flag, which is un, uh, which is used for uh, what we call it as pseudo TTY uh, mode, right? So let me go back to my terminal. Um, so uh, so I will I will try to demonstrate what it is. So first of all, I would like to make a use of uh, minus I interactive as a flag and I'm basically using my Alpine Im Docker image. So you can see that I have gotten inside the standard input of the Alpine container. If I try to do ls, you can see I am able to list all those directories. Uh, if I try to create a directory, let's say a cyber, uh, I have created this particular directory. And so if I try to uh, navigate to this particular directory, now I am inside the cyber directory. But you can see that we do not really have access to our prompt and the formatting is not very, very user friendly if we try to list all the directories, right? So let me try to uh, just give me a sec echo, let's say hello. And if I try to out, uh, output this in one particular file, file.txt. Uh, yeah, so if I try to cat file dot so you can see uh, the output of that particular file, right? So uh, now here, if I try to use uh, control C, uh, you can see that uh, I'm not able to use that particular command and I'm still inside the standard input of our container Alpine. So if I really wanted to exit from um, this particular container, I can use this, but it will also terminate the container, right? So now the, term, uh, uh, now the container is terminated. So uh, this is, uh, we have, uh, I think now uh, we are familiar with the interactive mode. I will clear my screen. If I try to uh, Docker PS, uh, the container is no longer running. Docker run. So this time uh, we will be running the container, let's say in the TTY, uh, uh, TTY mode, right? Which, uh, which represents uh, this T as a flag, right? So you can see that I have gotten inside that particular container. However, if I try to type anything, it doesn't really understand. Control C, it is not working. Uh, if I try to uh, type exit, you know, it is not working. So I think if we are using a, a TTY mode or minus T as a flag to run the container, it is not really very helpful. I'm not really able to exit the container by running the exit command too. So now if I try to do Docker PS, you know, you can see that Alpine container is running. Uh, so unfortunately I need to make a use of the another tab so to terminate this particular container Alpine and which we have executed in, uh, uh, which we have executed using the minus T as a flag, right? So it will take a moment before uh, really terminating the container. And yes, so I have got my shell back. If I go back to my, uh, you can see that, you know, I have exited out of that particular container and it is terminated successfully. So if I clear my screen, so, uh, so the last demonstration, we are trying to make the use of interactive, uh, uh, interactive flag as well as a pseudo TTI mode tag together. Uh, so let's uh, try to explore how does it make a difference. You can see that I have uh, I'm inside the container. If I try to make the use of host name, uh, you can see the uh, uh, container ID uh, under which. Uh, so for example, if I do ls, uh, so you can see that the formatting is good. I am able to list all the directories. If I try to do ls bin, uh, again, you know the formatting does look uh, really good. And we can use up, we can try to make the use of, you know, minus IT flag together. So it is working as expected or, you know, the formatting is good. I'm, I'm basically making the use of my prompt. So that is good, right? So if I try to exit, so this is what I really want to demonstrate, right? I mean, if we run the container in the interactive mode, or if we run the container in only a uh, TTY mode, uh, you know, uh, using the minus T as a flag, or if we try to make the use of both the flags together, what is the difference? So that's what we have explored in this particular demonstration. So thank you.